everyone loves Walt Disney. His stories and animations have won the hearts of countless audiences around the world for generations. That's the side of him they wanted you to see. I worked three years in Burbank, California as a digital archivist for the Walt Disney Company. I can't give my name here because just me writing this is breaking half a dozen NDAs that they made me sign before I was, quote, let go from the company. My job was to oversee conversions and restoration of film prints into digital format. Because there was rarely anything new to come out of the vault, I found the majority of my time on the clock doing digital cleanups of repertory titles. They'd make us huddle over already sifted through footage to pick specks of dirt from films like Cinderella or Snow White. That was so, when people bought yet another re-release on Blu-ray, they'd think they were getting their money's worth. That all changed when I heard that half a dozen film canisters had been discovered in the basement of one of Disney's many vacation properties. There were 13 canisters, all of them labelled with their titles. The majority were old, unseen Mickey Mouse shorts, nothing new or original. One of the canisters, however, was unmarked. I ran the film through the projector. The year, 1944, appeared on the screen, then a title that read, Walt Disney's The Final Solution. What followed was a beautifully animated cartoon in full colour and sound. The animation was unlike anything Disney had ever made before or after. Instead of cartoonish characters with comically exaggerated features, I was looking at near photorealistic renderings moving with lifelike fluidity. There was no music, only a low humming sound that almost played melodically in unison with the images. I can remember every frame of the cartoon like it was just yesterday. The story was about a man named Dr. Disney. He was a scientist working for the government who had come to a drastic conclusion. Mankind was a sickness, a pox on the planet, a hateful parasite that could never be cured of its own shortcomings. After an unauthorized experiment involving two fully confiscated chipmunks, the doctor was court-martialed and publicly shamed for his extreme scientific methods. Alone, broken, and on the cusp of poverty, the doctor would soon be approached by a Russian spy who had explained that, over the years, the KGB had been spying on him, the doctor's scientific achievements being the subject of much study in Russia. The cartoon continues with the Russians secretly bankrolling the doctor, allowing him to continue his experiments in a hidden, underground laboratory containing the most cutting-edge technology. This was all under the strict conditions that his completed work would be the property of the Soviets. Deep in the laboratory, the doctor began steps that when finished would change the unsuspecting world above him forever. The doctor meticulously crafted his perfect creation, manipulating the DNA of a common mouse into a five-foot, upright-standing vessel of sentience. The doctor would name this metaphorical Adam. Mickey would be the first of a new race that would one day replace humans as the stewards of Earth. Walt would affectionately dub these new beings Anthromorphs. In the following weeks, Mickey would learn and comprehend at a near impossible rate. Mickey would eventually utilize this newfound intelligence to assist the doctor in the creation of two more anthromorphs, a duck that would be named Donald and a dog that would be named Goofy. The doctor would pass his moral values onto the trio, constantly teaching Mickey, Donald and Goofy about the folly of man and how it could all be changed for the better. The Doctor would keep his creations hidden from the Russian higher-ups, buying time by telling the KGB he was working on a bioweapon codenamed Fantasia, that when used, would wipe out not only the Americans, but anyone else that didn't respect the best interests of the Soviet Union. This weapon, as he continued to explain, would carry on the winds, travel around the entire world, killing those not inoculated with the cure. 
The Doctor then delivers the Russians both the superweapon Fantasia, as well as the means to administer the cure to every man, woman and child that the Russians deemed worthy of saving. The Russians deploy the Doctor's doomsday weapon, Fantasia, spreads around the globe killing billions in a matter of days, including the Russians themselves. The cure the Doctor claimed to develop never existed. The human race is soon erased from existence. It's revealed that Fantasia would have a secondary purpose. While deadly to humans, the compound would mutate all animals that came into direct contact. Anthromorphs are now the dominant species on the planet. This is shown in a montage that plays like something from a horror movie due to the animation's realism. Deep in the underground lab, the Doctor is isolated from the effects of Fantasia. He spends his final moments with Mickey, saying, Remember what I've taught you. When I'm gone, they'll look to you for leadership. All of them. Learn from our mistakes, so that you never make them yourselves. Mickey is confused, thinking that the Doctor would see this new world he was responsible for creating. The Doctor tells the saddened Mickey that he has no place in the world because it no longer belongs to him. After an emotional goodbye to his protégés, Mickey, Donald and Goofy know what must be done. Using their enhanced strength, they rip the Doctor to bloody shreds, then take turns consuming the gory chunks to acquire the last of his wisdom. Mickey, Goofy and Donald escape to the surface where they are surrounded by hundreds of newly turned anthromorphs. They're lost, they're confused, they're scared. Mickey tells them not to fear as he takes his place as shepherd to this new flock that's looking for guidance. We see a montage of society being reborn. Mickey is declared leader of Disney World. Donald and Goofy take their places and Mickey's side as his counsel. The anthromorphs assume control over the already established human infrastructure using their shared intelligence to improve in technology once thought to be on the fringes of cutting edge. Even in this age of enlightenment, the anthromorphs regard Dr. Disney with reverence of a god. A religion is formed based on what was able to be pieced together from his past. They erect monuments, statues and churches to worship the man who gave them all life. The effects of Fantasia are not without their drawbacks. While most animal species on the planet have evolved, there are those who have a genetic resistance to the change. This 20% of the animal population lives in harmony with their biologically advanced kin. They are named the Elder Ones. Some continue to live in the wild, others live as pets. The cartoon finally ends with Mickey taking in one of these animals, a familiar orange dog. The end fades up on the screen as Mickey and Pluto walk off into the sunset. I was oblivious to the fact that my nose had been bleeding continuously as I watched the cartoon. Seconds later, the room started spinning and everything went black. When I came to, the lab was in ruins. Machines were smashed and streaks of blood stained the walls. Looking down at my trembling hands, I could see that they were covered in deep gashes. Not long after waking up, I would be escorted off the premises by security. I was let go soon after for sabotaging company property. It was very formal and they chose not to press charges. The blackouts would continue for months after my termination. When I eventually did go to the hospital, they discovered that I have stage 4 brain cancer. I know with every fibre of my being that I am now sick from watching that cartoon. The doctors say I don't have that long left that I should make the best of my remaining time. I wish I could. I really do. But I can't stop thinking about what I saw that night. I can't stop wondering what Disney originally planned to do with that cartoon. I hope to God that they destroy it. Because I know now, in these final moments of my life, that cartoon wasn't named the final solution. It was the final solution.